We had a fun few days in Fakaraba, but it was time to head up the atolls to Rangaroa. True wind speed of 3.2 knots. So just in case we have to motor all night, um, I hope we don't. We're gonna fill up the diesel. That's kind of the crappy thing about being on a schedule when you're cruising. Oh, if you're going cruising, don't be on a schedule. Just cruise. Just cruise. Uh, kind of sucks being on a schedule. Otherwise, we wouldn't even go. We just wait for the wind. Now we got a motor. It's kind of a hassle using the jerry cans, but sometimes you just can't pull up to a marina to get fuel. Here. Something bite you? No, uh, what, Laura? Are you okay? I'm not. So, uh, Laura what? just sat on a bee. What just happened? Laura just sat on a bee. You better go check that out. Mom, check the f***ing dinger! <sighs> Get your... I'm God! What just... so bad. What just happened? The bee bit me. Why did the bee bite you? Can we say that on camera? <laughs> Very close <laughs> to there. <laughs> I thought my swim trunks were eating me, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> poor thing, because I was, swelled and he was, was like, I don't oh, know. So uh, the beer hill, it's the coldest thing we had. So. Where'd you put the beer? <laughs> Where did you put the beer? It's like I sat on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, so that just happened. No stinger, right? No, I, she made me, she's yelling at me. I have a, I, we're filling diesel. <laughs> So I'm literally pouring, about to pour diesel, and she's like, come check my stinger! And I'm like, oh. Check my stinger yeah. for my stinger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I had to go downstairs and check uh, for a stinger. It's awful. <laughs> anyway. So with the bee crisis averted, it was time to head to Rangaroa. You know a place has good diving when the National Geographic boat shows up. We were delayed leaving, so the pass was already a little choppy with the outgoing tide and the incoming waves. It was an overnight sail to Rangaroa and a beautiful morning the next day. Rangaroa is a big atoll with only one narrow pass, which can be quite dangerous when the tide's going out. We arrived with the incoming tide, but I came back when the tide was going out to take some drone footage. You can see how choppy it gets here. This is caused when the outgoing tide, which can be up to five or six knots, meets incoming waves and they pile up on each other. I was really surprised to see what was playing in the surf.
Okay, we made it to Rangaroa. Definitely more populated. Yeah. There's actual yeah. resorts here. There's like those overwater bungalows. They've got that. They've got hammocks. There's a lot of boat activity. It's one of those times I just wish we had more time here because those things look really cool. It'd be awesome to just anchor the boat right here and like maybe rent one of those for a night. But... For a real shower? Yeah. What? A real size bed? We might go talk to them. We might go talk to them, see how much what? they cost. See if they got anything available. Don't spoil me, Bobby. Yeah, we'll go talk to them. The bungalows were pretty amazing, but at $1,000 a night, out of our price range. Canoeing is the national sport here, and right as we made it to the dock, there was a big race going by. That was pretty cool. You're gonna, you're gonna be the next racer in the canoe. You, you got a women's division, right? No. We got some guns. Yeah, look at that. She's got guns. We are at Che Lili. It's uh, the best internet we found in all of French Polynesia so far. Since we got to the yeah. other side. <laughs> and I just saw, we've been averaging a little lower, but I just saw 0 0.6, 0 0.6 megabytes, megabits per second. That's almost dial up speed. Uh, and I was actually very happy about that. I was like, oh my gosh, look at me. I just saw 0.6 megabits. She's like, <laughs> at this he rate, was thrilled. at this rate, it'll only take us like four hours to upload a video. Not 15, Not 15 days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Another seven hour day of uploading is finished. Uh, this is in record time. It's half the time as it took on the last one. Um, but you know what? Hopefully the internet should be getting better. The place we kind of hung out is really cool. It's called Che Lili. Uh, she's kind of the owner and chef and everything. It's pretty awesome. She's really, really nice, really friendly. And uh, it's probably the best Wi Fi in town. So if you're ever in Rangaroa, Che Lili. Be sure to check out our new video series where we give behind the scenes information on our videos and talk about it director style. You can get access to those by visiting patreon.com slash sailing doodles. And be sure to check the show notes of this video because we're giving away a free one week charter of a yacht in Thailand. It's free and easy to enter. Check the show details to find out how.